Hello, Letterman Row listeners, watchers, readers, whatever, however you find us. Thank you for finding us. Welcome to another episode of Bermanology on Letterman Row. I'm Jeremy Birmingham, joined uh, today by Jack Miller, Ohio State 2020 quarterback signee. It's been a long time uh, that you and I have been conversing and getting to know each other first. So congratulations Thank on you. seeing this all through. I mean, yes, I know sir. it had to have been at times uh, frustrating, at times you pull away from everyone and, mm -hmm. and the media and the world around you. But looking back now that it's over, how do you feel like this process went? Is there anything you would have changed to get to this moment? It was a great process. I mean, I feel like I learned a lot about myself and who to surround myself with for sure. And if I could change one thing, I probably would have just committed to Ohio State a year earlier or a little bit earlier. So I didn't have to deal with all the other coaches and everybody. Because I've known I was going to go to Ohio State since I was a freshman, honestly, ever since the first time I talked to Coach Day. So, yeah, just really, it was a good experience, but, you know, it was a long one for sure. On signing day, we sat down with Ryan Day on, on Bermanology and talked to him, and he mentioned that, you know, he'd known he wanted you to be his quarterback for three years. With all the talk, all the buzz around CJ and all the other talk about needing to add a quarterback, did it? was it that knowledge that kind of just kept you calm because like he's obviously been telling you that for three years mm -hmm. as well right i mean is it is it easy to believe because of how they acted or was it easier to buy into the smoke that people were trying to blow in other directions yeah i could really care less about what twitter says or what people think i mean i know i knew the whole time that they were gonna have to bring another quarterback i mean obviously they're not gonna sit there with two quarterbacks on scholarship right. that's not the situation you want to oh. be in at all so it's best for the team and I don't really care who you bring in. I mean, I'll go compete. I love competing and hopefully win the job. So Jack is one of 14 early enrollees heading to Ohio State in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Are you packed? Are you ready? Like what, where, what, what's the vibe right now for you and your family? Obviously it's Christmas. We're here at the hotel that your dad runs, which Ohio State's football team is hanging out uh, because that's where they're staying this week. Like, have you even had a chance to process that you're moving 2200 miles away from here in 10 days not really man i kind of told myself i was going to put it off until after christmas and now it's after christmas yeah. so i guess it's time to start really now just put it off till after new year packing yeah so gotta get ready is there like is there a list there or does ohio state say bring this this and this don't bring this like what's the one thing from home that you wish you could be taking with you not don't say your family or something cheesy okay oh one thing from my house nothing sentimental Actually, it can be sentimental. <laughs> Whatever you want. I would say, say your family if you want. That's fine. Eh, I'd say my bed. Yeah. I'm going to miss my bed and my TV. Have you had a chance to talk to the guys on the, the team here at the hotel this week about, like, what to expect when you get on campus? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they said it's a lot different than high school, obviously. And it doesn't really – kind of in high school, everybody, like, says, like, oh, my gosh, like, it's such a big deal. Like, you're going to be playing football at Ohio State. But they said – once you get there, you're looked at like another student. I mean, you're not, you're not walking yeah. and being able to do whatever you want. Like, you still have a job to do, and you're there for a reason. So, they just said to keep your head down and grind through it. Is that something that I mean? Have you talked to your other early enrollee guys about about sort of the ability that you guys have to control your own future in a way? Because you're really lucky that you have this many other guys coming in mm -hmm. with you because you're not going to be alone. You're exactly. talking about a fifth of the football roster is guys who are arriving early, essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is a really unique situation. For sure. Who are you most thinking that you will be leaning on or counting on or, or turning to when it hits? And that first moment is gonna be like, damn, I wanna go back home. Where do you turn? How do you get through that when it's coming? Let's have a really good support system here back home. So I'll probably pick up my phone and call, whether it's my dad or Coach Koner or somebody that's really close to me and has helped me through a lot already through high school. And, Coach Conner being the type of football mind that he is and how great of a man he's been to me and my family, I think he'd be a really big help. Where do you see yourself, uh, you know, in, in in a month? How do you, how do, what are the steps you take when you get on campus to make sure that you're ready? Also just going through everything and making sure that I'm doing everything that I need to be doing and plus a little bit more with learning the offense and working out every single day. We're giving them all. And, really just working hard. Signing day is here, it's gone, right? Did they send you a playbook? Have you already started diving into that? 
Not yet. They haven't sent me a playbook yet, but because you're gonna be there too. Yeah, so I'm sure sport. it'll be hit pretty soon when I gotta learn all the plays. So you look bigger than you did even uh, last time I talked to you, mm -hmm. which was over the internet. This is obviously not the same, but have you put on weight? Or are you feeling? Like, it seems like you're working out a lot. Yeah, I've been ever since the season ended. I mean, I've been working out every single day and really gaining a lot of weight. I was 190, yeah. 98 pounds probably during the season, and now I'm at 218. So trying to get my weight up a little bit. I'm even going to gain some more when I get yeah. up there. There's the, I mean, you, you've you heard, again, the talk, and you can ignore it all you want to, but it's still out there. Oh, yeah. People who question, oh, is Jack Miller tough? Is Jack Miller, can he stay healthy? Like, how does that drive you moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just more motivation for me to keep working hard and keep staying healthy for sure. I mean, both times that I got injured, I mean, they're pretty stupid situations. I mean, we're up 48 points in the fourth quarter. I run the ball and somebody lands on me and I separate my shoulder. Like, there's really nothing I can do about that. And I don't think it really plays into how tough I am. I mean, if you want to talk about tough, I played a whole game on a torn MCL. So, I mean, I think that's So what Justin yourself. Fields is doing is nothing because you've done it. I mean, he's doing it at a much higher level than I was also. Who are you rooming with? Is it, is it going to be you and CJ? Are you sticking quarterbacks together? I think I'm rooming with uh, Trey LaRoe. Okay. What is your biggest worry as you get ready to head to Ohio State in two weeks? Really just adjusting and getting used to college for sure. I mean, football, the football part is awesome, but I mean, there's also a big shift in going to college and being right. a college kid, living by yourself and really just being on your own. And the time change. Yeah, exactly. Well, that, that, you'll get over that in a few and days. And the weather change. Well, the weather, at least you're, the good news is, is that Ohio weather showed up this week with the Buckeyes. But speaking of change, there's a possibility. It's kind of been brought up in the media in the last week or so that Ohio State quarterbacks coach Mike Yersich could be potentially leaving for Texas for an opportunity to be an offensive coordinator there where he's not at Ohio State because of Kevin Wilson and Ryan Day running the offense. Has there been discussion? Has Ryan Day talked to you about it? Has Mike Yersich, have they brought it up to you? How do you attack things? How does things change if that occurs? Obviously, you're already signed. You're moving in 10 days. It's not going to change where you're going to school. Mm -hmm. But how does it change what you do? Or how does it change how you feel going into January? I mean, I don't think it'll change too much with Coach Day still being there and the quarterback and just the football mind that he has. And Coach Yersich is a great coach. And... I'll miss him dearly if he leaves just because we've gotten super close over this past Because he's year. recruited Arizona as well. So, I mean, mm -hmm. he's been not just your position coach, but um, also the guy that's been out here visiting other players. So he exactly. sees you the most. But, yeah, Coach Day hasn't mentioned it. Coach Yersey hasn't message, mentioned it yet. So It's almost we'll like they're see. focused on something exactly. else. Exactly, yeah. Which is so selfish. So selfish. <laughs> what do you want people to know about you that they maybe haven't? And you've intentionally, I think, in the last six months or so, withdrawn a little bit from social media mm -hmm. and, and these types of things, these interviews. What has changed about you from the last time we talked? And what do you want people to know? Like, this is who Jack Miller is. I don't know. I feel like I've kind of been through a lot over this past season with being hurt and not being able to play the full season with my teammates as a senior. But I mean, I feel like I've really grown my mental space and how I deal with things, how I attack things. I mean, really just how I deal with problems that happen in my life. So. I've grown a lot hey, over the past Cooper. few months. <laughs> Wait, we're just saying that. Do you up? know Jack Miller? Uh, Jack's the 2020 I'm signing. Jack. He's a quarterback. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, So he'll be on campus in two weeks as one of the 14 early enrollees. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you seen a lot of me. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is it crazy that a sixth of your roster, a fifth or a sixth of the roster in two weeks is going to be 2020 signings? That's crazy. I mean, are you ready for that sort? What What's your advice for Jack? What's my advice? Yeah, like, because you were an early enrollee, right? Uh, my advice is to, is to follow the old heads, um, stay uh, stay focused and work. Work extremely hard. It's going to be it's gonna be nothing like you've ever been a part of, but mm -hmm. it's a brotherhood. We're going to welcome you with open arms. We also going to get on you. We're going to expect a lot, expect a lot out of you. But, um, you seem like a good kid. So how, do you, how do you handle quarterbacks this pretty, though? You know what I mean? He's like, your brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach Mitch going to take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the next question. He was over for there you. counting on his fingers over at practice today how many days until I come in there and he was scaring me. That's the next question me. for you. Like, I was going to ask him this anyway, but now that you're here, the de recruiting process, uh -huh. how difficult was that for you 
and how do you tell young guys to deal with that what's coming um i feel like for me personally i was always just very focused on just i wanted to come in and work and prove myself i didn't come in with any expectations like oh i'm a man or oh i'm this or i'm that because as soon as you start thinking that mm -hmm. you're gonna get put down real low oh yeah i mean not to mention your name but we got a couple of examples it happens yeah. especially in the quarterback room especially in the quarterback room but uh yeah i feel like I mean, obviously, this guy, he seems like he's got a very good You, you had an right? advantage, though, right? I mean, he's from Columbus, so. Yeah, where are you from? Here, Arizona. Oh, you're from Arizona? Yeah, I live right so there. That's a, that's a pretty uh, pretty far jump. Mm -hmm. his, his, fa his father is the general manager of the hotel you're staying at. For real? Yeah, he's, he's right there. <laughs> oh, man, that's a great person to meet. <laughs> oh. Real Life Wednesdays yeah, is happening okay. right oh, now. Oh, yeah, for sure. But once I'm there, I feel like it'll be okay. I mean, yeah, in college. Uh, I feel like, you know, with all freshmen, it just comes with opening up. Because once you find your band of brothers, you'll find that we really are a family. We yeah. all care about each other. And we make sure that you guys don't feel homesick. Sure. Like you guys, we're family. As soon as you come in, as soon as you step on campus, you're family and we treat you that way. Sir. Get out of here. All right. Thanks. Hey, nice to meet you, boy. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay, yes, Good luck. Um, so that was Jonathan Cooper uh, cameoing, apparently. Um, <laughs> But that's what happens here at the Princess Resort, yeah, right? Exactly. So, listen, I don't want to keep you all night. Jack set up a, a line of interviews today very, <laughs> very uh, smartly. We're going to get out of here. I'm Jeremy Birmingham for Letterman Road. This has been Jack Miller. This has been Bermanology, starring Jonathan Cooper. And uh, we'll talk to you folks later. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. we got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. we got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.